Yeah, that's cool. All right, everybody. Welcome. And <laughs> the, the, the counter just went out of nowhere. How are we doing, everyone? I was not even concentrating. Great to see you all. Welcome back for another stream. It's great to see you all. Thank you so much for coming along. Uh, we're joined by another special guest today in the hot seat for the Community Convoy. And, uh, well, we're joined by the one and the only uh, Trucking Cowboy. Now, apologies. There has been a mistake in the spelling here. That there's a G on the end of that trucking when there's not meant to be a, a G. But Trucking Cowboy, welcome. Thank you so much for coming along. Thank you. Appreciate it. Glad to be here. All right. It's great to have you uh, driving with us today. We're excited to kind of get uh, to know uh, you a little bit better as well as your community as well. I can see lots of them uh, in the chat uh, as well. Of course, we're joined as well by Darius in the studio. Darius, how are we doing? Uh, hello. I'm, I'm doing all right. Uh, just a little bit fighting with the cables over here, and I would just like to preface that there's a pretty high chance that the wheel is going to stop working like halfway oh, through. Oh, no. So just prepare for that. I, he I heard. I heard that yeah. there's been a few issues. Fingers crossed today's convoy is going to go without a hitch. Um, and of course, it's great to see everybody in the Twitch chat as well twitch.tv uh, slash SCS software. Now, you might have noticed. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. We've got a little bit of a news to share. Um, well, we got a tick now next to our name on the, uh, the, the SES Software Twitch channel, which means we're now partnered uh, with Twitch, which is really awesome, right, Darius? It means it brings like quite a, a few perks uh, for us to use within the streams, um, some little exciting things maybe we can introduce uh, in the future. Um, but is. at the same time, it does mean that we are going to be streaming more so now on, on Twitch, uh, than on other platforms. Um, but that doesn't mean in the future we won't be streaming on those other platforms, like, such as YouTube and stuff. Um, we hope to do some more exclusive streams on there uh, as well. So, But it's really, really exciting to see. I'm happy to see that we've got that tick, and hopefully we can do some fun things with it in the future as well. Yeah. Um, maybe we can get Darius's head as an emote. Oh, that could happen. <laughs> no, it's just, Let us it's know. Just... Let us know, chat. The only the only thing that would fit of me into an emote would be my forehead. Is like the the other part of my face wouldn't fit for an emote. So. You definitely see it, Darius. It, you would definitely see it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's very nice. You are e very welcome. Even even the trucking cowboy, you know, agrees with that. So, but no, it's great to see all of you uh, here on Twitch as well. I see a lot of your community here, uh, trucking cowboy. I'm sure there's a lot of familiar names in there yes. for you as well so if you've never been to one of these streams before it's basically where we bring on a guest from our community of streamers and they come on and they talk about uh, their community and how they got into streaming and such like that as well it's also your chance to ask some questions if you're interested so make sure if you haven't already go give truck and cowboy a follow it is without the g apologies again uh, truck and cowboy for that mistake twitch.tv slash truck cowboy that's without the chi, but the the the, the uh, link is being posted in chat every five minutes or so by Nightbot. So make sure to go give him a follow. And uh, well, Chuck and Cowboy, maybe before we get uh, rolling here, could you uh, maybe tell us a little bit about yourself? You know. Oh well, I was uh, uh, in real life truck driver for thirty years, 30 years and then um, because of medical medical reasons, I had to retire. Wow. So, okay. um, I did start streaming before before i stopped driving mm. um but uh yeah that's basically uh, i've been streaming about two and a half years okay almost three years now wow um, i mean time goes fast and um 30 years that's a, exactly. an impressive amount of time on the road and i guess me and darius are just in a way privileged to kind of have you in our presence to, as true. you know a real truck driver one with a lot of experience um you know with us it almost feels like we're a little bit inadequate driving next to you on the road here because oh, no, <laughs> I think compared nah, to your you skills, good. you're going to be parking it and just, you know, reversing like it's nothing, like you've done it every other day. So, um, but we got to ask actually, you know, before we get rolling here, the name Trucking Cowboy, where did that originate from? Where did you come up with the idea of your your name there? Um, That was actually my CB handle when I was really? um, trucking on down the road. So I've had that handle for Oh, I don't know, maybe 20 years. So 20 years. Um, when I started streaming, it just made sense to use it. Wow, that is awesome. I did not realize that, yeah, that would be a CB handle that you use. And of course, that makes complete sense yeah. to kind of transit, transfer over as a username. And uh, I mean, I didn't, I don't know how 
popular CB radios are still to this day? Would you say they're still quite widely used within the industry? Or is that more of a kind um, of past generation thing? Yeah, they're, I mean, they're still used, not as well as they used to be, mm. but there's a lot of just shenanigans on the CBs days. So most people shut them off unless they absolutely need them. Mm. You know, like if you come into a traffic jam or something, you might turn it on and say, you know, hey, what's going on? There's an accident or whatever, what's going on? Mm. That kind of thing. But uh, other than that, most people just keep them. I, I always kept mine off um, the last 10 or 15 years because it was just trash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a shame, really, that, that kind of like that feature is lost because it is really a part of, you know, the, the truck in life and something I always remember seeing in movies and TV shows. And you're like, ah, it's kind of a shame to kind of lose that sort of element uh, in the trucking. But I guess that's and what I love, time... love CBs. Yeah. I mean, when I was a, when I was a teenager, I had a CB and a big antenna on top of my roof. Really? I used to talk in the C. Yeah, I used to talk on <laughs> the CB before I even thought about <laughs> being a truck driver. Wow. So it was almost meant to be then, right? It was almost like exactly. Yeah, this, exactly. this, 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 this is what you grew up destiny. in. Like, yeah. It was destiny. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of trucking, let's get into some trucking. Let's take a look uh, at some of the truck designs here. I think, again, we've all got the memo. We've all managed to, to pretty much go for the pretty much the old school kind of brands here. Uh, we got, you know, Peter Built. We got a Kenworth as well, and I got a Kenworth driving as well. We're all looking great with our paint jobs here, all in different configurations as well, which is quite nice to see. So hey, I'm really rocking nice the best community ever skin. Come I on, love now. it. Props for that one. I love it. I love it. It looks really <laughs> great, go. and you got the longer, you know, uh, chassis axles on the back there as well. Right. You, got, you know, the three wheels at the back, which is looking absolutely lovely. And uh, I know usually on your stream, you, you drive a variety of different trucks uh, using yes. a lot of uh, modifications as well, which is really, really cool to see. Uh, yes. Would you say this is kind of your go-to truck or do you have some other go-to trucks that you drive as well? Peterbilt is my go-to truck. Yeah. A modded Peterbilt when I'm running mods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a cool. lovely, it's a lovely looking truck. I love it. And me and, and it Darius, was my best uh, trucks that I drove over the years i've driven a 379 389 and a 579 so oh, right. i just love i just love peter bells that go. would be why then that would be why exactly that's so there's cool. a reason there is a reason <laughs> and i love it that's great that is really really cool to see and uh me and darius oh got the uh the old kenworths as well here running which is uh really great to see so let's let's get these uh trucks to use darius maybe you can choose yeah. us a job let's stick and we'll get rolling here yeah, let's go. I think we're going to be burning out fuel here for no reason. Uh, be before we head out, I would like to shout out to your beautiful backgrounds, both of oh, you. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and especially Alex, because like... <laughs> like, don't get distracted you, you told me before the stream and i was like hmm, what kind of a background this it could have the, been the ping pong um, dvd thing I'll yeah <laughs> going on over there. So I'm, yeah I'm not disappointed. it's it's uh my other background's in standby mode I, for, I forgot to you know reactivate it again so we got that going okay. uh, at the moment i picked the job so you, can take you got the job way. yeah perfect going, all right we're going north all the way past she she let she let how do i even pronounce it it is i think gillette. it's gillette yeah is it actually gillette, gillette? Um, like the razor gillette yep the best a man can get not sponsored by exactly. the way but <laughs> that's <Totally>. that's <laughs> that is that is that is that is uh the slogan there so all right have you managed to uh copy that same job as well uh trucking cowboy yes 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 perfect all right well i've, I've used the same truck and trailer they've got attached i've got the retro paint job on mine i thought i'd make it a little bit more kind of like sunset orange so i'm going to keep it like that I'll just go find where where is my trailer actually where have i got to back up into i gotta go over there okay all right and chat how are you doing chat it's great to see a lot of you here thank you so much for coming along let us know where in the world you're watching from we'd love to know who we rep in tonight yeah location check let's go location check let us know chat let us know i i'm, I'm sure we're we would get to that point eventually, but Tracking Cowboy, where are you from? Can you tell us? I am in Texas. There we go. Oh, okay. So there's a certain DLC that you're probably quite excited for, I imagine. 
Yes, and so <laughs> are a lot of my use, uh, viewers. They are I can imagine. constantly, every day, do you know anything about Texas coming out? I'm like, <laughs> no. Well, they're especially going to be asking now, now that you're featured on a, an SES stream, almost, you know, you're talking, exactly. you know, with the guys from the studio. Exactly. So <laughs> hopefully we don't bring too much harassment to, to, your, to your streams. No, no, and they want to know about Montana too, so. Mm. Both very exciting states to have. I, I said in the last stream that exactly. we had that, you know, as much as I'm very excited for Texas and, you know, how incredibly big that state is, I think a lot of people forget how big Texas really is. Uh, I feel like Montana it is, is going to be a big. bit of a, an underdog here and also be, you know, incredibly beautiful in, in natural beauty as well. But I think both are going to have things that I'm going to love about them, you know. They're both going to have elements I enjoy. Actually, uh, I, I think I think Montana is going to be kind of, you know, wild card. It's going to be, it mm, might mm. surprise a lot of people. Mm. I think. I believe so. Yeah. All right. Well, Montana is very beautiful as far as landscape goes. So. That is true. That is true. Okay. I I, yes, um, I see that you took it upon yourself to go first, which is. Oh. Yes, exactly. That is perfect. You want me to go first? Oh, no, 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 no. Trucking. Trucking cover. Trucking. Yeah, That's yeah. perfect. Don't, yeah. You don't want me crashing on stream like the last time. Uh, no. I mean, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be my guest. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It does feel like I've, it's been a while since I've driven one of these more long nosed trucks, so I, I do need to remember about the turning circles here as well. And uh, of course, driving on the right, because here in the UK we drive on the left. It's, you have to just remember yeah, exactly, exactly. I Thank know, I, 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 I can you. kind of admit it is the wrong side. Considering we're like one of only a very few countries that actually do drive on the left side of the road, I feel like we're very much the minority. So. Uh, Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we did something wrong there, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my. Oh no, Darius. Nobody saw that. Literally, uh, they, no they, one they saw it. No, no, there's no one. There's no All one. Nobody right. saw that. Okay. Well, our journey has started, so let's uh, put Chuck and Cowboy here in the hot seat. And it looks like we fixed up your text as well on, on the Twitch stream. So we've got the yes, links right. there thank and everything. You. So thank you to, I think Philip might have been responsible for that. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, so uh, when did you said you started streaming about two and a half, three years ago? Is that correct? Yes, it'd be yeah. three years in April. Three years in April. Wow, what a cool anniversary. So I got to ask, what got you into streaming? You said, you know, you have been trucking for, for such a long time, um, for 30 years. What brought you to well, streaming? Actually, yeah, actually I was home. I think I had cold or pneumonia or something. Mm. It was I was homesick for like a week or something. And I was sitting there doing nothing. And I thought, hey, why don't I give that a try? Mm. And uh, I liked it. And uh, so I was like, OK, this is a cool hobby. And anytime I got a chance to, I do it, obviously mostly on the weekends because I was, you know, working 14 hours a day right, driving right. my truck. So um, I didn't really have time to, to <laughs> do streaming and stuff. So, wow. And then when I had to come off the road, it became more of a full time thing. Got you. Got you. And was there somebody that kind of like inspired you in streaming as well? Like uh, you watch somebody on Twitch or on YouTube or any of those platforms or was it something you simply just discovered and just thought, I'll give it a try myself sort of thing? Um, no, actually, not really. No? Um, I just thought it was cool, and I wanted to, I just wanted to build a community and to socialize with people. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's what my community is about, is about supporting other streamers and gamers. That's nice. And being all-inclusive, you know, everybody's welcome, and, um... Yeah, that, uh, it's more about them than it is about me. I've always made it about my community than about mm. me. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. I think that is, that is a very good approach. It is yeah. incredibly kind of you to, to kind of think that way. In a weird way, you can feel a little bit like everyone's trying to compete against each other. It's kind of a bit of a, a, breath, a mm -hmm. breath of fresh air to, to hear that, you know, when someone's like, oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, well, the way I Proud look at first. it in the, in the Team Convoy mo Moto, is um rising tide lifts all boats that's the motto mm -hmm. matter of fact i have i have some skins for my usually my trailer on oh on, awesome when i'm on mod it says that says that right on the side of it and uh 
it basically just means that if everybody supports each other, either, uh, I can't even talk words, right? <laughs> <laughs> if everybody supports each other, then we all gonna get to the goals that we wanna get to, you know, helping right. each other instead of just thinking about, you know, yourself. Mm. That is so true. That is uh, really, really true. And that's that's why we like to kind of have that best community ever tagline as well, because we know how important it is, you know, for us to be as a community together. You know, we don't see ourselves as above the community. We are within the community. You know, we are the community. And uh, it's, it's nice to kind of be on that that similar level, that similar playing field. You know, no one's better than kind of each other. But we're here. Uh, that's not just a hashtag to me. It's exactly. Yeah, actually, it's actually the way I live my life so <laughs> that's all that's so cool to hear you know it, it's so funny just kind of born out of an idea how far that hashtag has gone i believe Nimo played a big part in having that that hashtag created so big props exactly. to him <laughs> for that because yeah it, it really does ring true you know every single day you see somebody new on the road and a different community and you know hearing their stories and we're hearing your story uh right now and uh, i gotta right. ask when you did start streaming was it quite difficult would you say or were you quite chill about it um well i do have i've never been one to stand up in front of people and talk or mm. anything like that so I did have a lot of social anxiety mm. um, about it, but I got over it. I just forced myself to do it and um, just got over it. <laughs> yeah, it actually sounds so simple, but but when you when you exactly when you are feeling like that about street or in general, you know, like right. talking with people with other people, and it's. The, the simplest advice is just like just do it you know uh, just if if you will just keep doing it it, it will get better and you are doing exactly fine. yeah exactly and i won't say that i don't get nervous i mean i get nervous before every stream mm. i mean there's 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 times when i'm sitting there going do i really want to push that button <laughs> start the stream but i just push myself to push through it you know mm -hmm. just I, no, I can yeah cool. I was gonna say I can agree with that as well even you know after these many streams that I've done with SCS uh, I also feel the way same way sometimes you get a little bit nervous a little bit of butterflies before some of some of the bigger streams and Darius I can imagine you could probably relate to that as well right well, don't even get me started I mean I mean <laughs> uh, uh, when I when I was talking about the experience of my very first time on the stream uh, were we discussing it live or was it before the stream because mm. cause it was like it was like uh, I was talking about the fact that the first time I was here just imagine you are so imagine this like you are nervous you know you are nervous when you are sitting in your room at home mm -hmm. but now imagine yourself to be in a studio and all of a sudden there's 10 huge lights on in your face and you have to talk right yeah I would right. be nervous yeah, about so, that, yeah so the first time I was here it was uh, well yeah that was interesting I, I i i can barely even remember what what that stream was about so yeah but i got through it, it. is I got through it. yeah I it is and you know you have your community support you there on the side as well we've already seen lots of your uh, viewers in our chat you know using some of your emotes and, and spamming the raid and stuff like that as well which is really really oh, yeah, awesome to see going crazy and uh, I, I love that <laughs> i love that energy you know and, and it must be really uplifting and you know makes you feel kind of happy and comfortable knowing that you've kind of got your community kind of backing you up as well and uh, you know they become like your friends and in some cases family as well you know you, you become uh, uh, quite close think, to them yeah i consider them a, like family mm. and like i said the, the whole hashtag best community ever um you know i didn't always stream ats but um i was a warzone streamer for a while right and but then i got back into ats and i was using a controller and then i'm like oh i'm gonna go to a wheel and then, so I went with the cheap wheel, and then I'm like, oh, wow, this is 100 times better. This is <laughs> like I'm actually back in my truck, you know, which is exactly what I was looking for. Hmm. Because I, I had that itch to be back on the open road, you know, be free out on the open road. Mm -hmm. And this game has given that back to me um, hmm. because I can't, I can't do it in real life anymore. Hmm. So... Yeah, I mean that's um, always. And once, once it's in your blood, you know, it's in your blood. It's right. It's one of those yeah. things where it's a you just you, 
you don't get yeah it's a passion and if you can't do it anymore you get that itch you know so uh, that's, uh, that's really cool to hear we've we've heard quite a few stories of, of, of people from different emails and such saying you know well I'm a retired truck driver or someone that's not able to drive anymore or I, I've always wanted to drive but I'm just unable to and this game really you know helps me to, to continue to enjoy my, my hobbies and my passions and my dreams and uh, you know it's great to, to speak to someone that also you know has a similar story and uh, I can imagine you've got many stories to tell uh, from on the road and um, yeah, we'd love to hear some of them, obviously, during the stream at some point uh, about if you wanted to share some of them, that is, if you're comfortable sharing them, uh, because I imagine um, some of them, I, some of them, I probably should not share. That's honestly. understandable. That's understandable. <laughs> but um, I can imagine, you know, the road teaches you some things. I imagine you learn right. a lot when you're out on the road. You know, it's not as simple as oh, behind yeah, the wheel and pressing pedals. You know, there's there's a lot a lot to it, right? Oh yeah, there's. I mean, you get traffic. You have to deal with other people. You have to deal with weather. Mm -hmm. uh, I've see. I, I could share this one. Um, I was hauling uh, dashboards out of New Hampshire mm -hmm. over to um, uh, Detroit, and we used to go through Ontario, mm -hmm. uh, Canada. And uh, anyways, um, I was going down the road, and this patch of road. It's notorious for just weather blowing in sometimes and um just going along no problem and the all of a sudden we hit black uh i was following another uh, like a bulk tanker propane tanker mm -hmm. big big bro bulk propane tanker and we hit black ice oh, he no. started jackknifing down the highway oh no i started jackknifing down the highway right behind him and i'm sitting there trying to get it trying to get it under control again and he he barely got it under control and then i just went by him and got it under control and yeah that was uh, um that was a clean your pants out kind of moment <laughs> just put it that way i can imagine that sounds incredibly scary honestly i it don't was, think it's very scary i don't think i'd want to be in that very situation because for those that haven't had the privilege of you know sitting in uh, in a truck especially an american one with the long nose and you know the longer trailers at the back you know losing control of one of those is i don't know your life kind of flash before your eyes almost Insane. because uh you know they're, they're pretty heavy to control as they are on you know normal surface and, and weathers let alone in, in, in bad weather you know you're, you're hauling how many tons of cargo and uh you know having that go out of control it can't be a nice feeling <laughs> i can't imagine exactly. it's nice at all yeah how, uh, how many how many miles would you say you you drove in drove in total like um throughout your your life probably, probably. maybe around three million in wow. my life yes. That's no a way something like that how many times is that around the world? I want to. I want to. I want to. I, wanna, I don't know. I want to. I mean, you normally I'm average at. about about one hundred and twenty thousand, maybe a little bit more, a year, something like that. Wow, it's impressive. That's a lot of driving. Yeah. And was that? Did you? You know, when you when you're trucking, were you just all over the country, or were you in certain areas, or were you just kind of um, anywhere? The first and everywhere? twenty years. The first twenty years, I was um, what they call OTR over the road. Okay. And I'd be out three, four weeks at a time. Um, the last ten, I did dedicated work, where I was basically almost home every every day. Mm. Um, so I'd go out, do my five to seven hundred miles, and then come home, mm. and then go to sleep and go back and do it all over again. Right. Um, and that was all uh, dedicated stuff, uh, delivering to um, Lowe's Home Improvements mm -hmm. uh, stores out of their distribution center. So I did deliver to like 60 different stores within the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas. Okay, okay. Wow, that's, that's okay. impressive. And did you have a preference over either one? Did you prefer kind of like out on the road for a long time or did you prefer kind of being back home every day? Um. Being home every day was actually more stressful mm. on me than because on the road you get done with the day and you can just crash right in your in your in your bunk. Where you're out on the road in dedicated work and you go home, you gotta do all your stuff at the yard, then you gotta drive home, 
do your, you know, I mean, and then you go to bed and get up, drive back to the yard and you literally have no time for yourself. Mm. I mean, literally no time for yourself, let alone get enough sleep. So, right. I see. I can imagine. Yeah. It's been difficult, but I mean, you know, at least now we have the time to kind of chill out a little bit while playing the games, <laughs> yeah. I guess. How many, in comparison, how many hours? Do you, do you know how many hours you have played on the American Truck Simulator? Um, I have about, I think about 1,100 hours wow, in ATS now. That is a lot. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. It'll be interesting to know as well, like the equivalent uh, mileage as well. But I think that'll be a little bit more difficult to figure out. But that's uh, that's impressive as well. And uh, right. I gotta say, it's it's always interesting to know kind of like the little bits that uh, people enjoy about American Trucking Simulator. Uh, is is there anything that you feel is very realistic? You know, within our game when it comes to you know your trucking experiences. Oh, it's very realistic. Um, mm. I'm very impressed with the simulator, um, especially the feedback where mm. I, I have the, right now I have the T248 wheel, which, yay. <laughs> brand new, I love this nice, wheel. Oh, very nice. Oh. Yeah, brand new. <laughs> Hello. And so, what a coincidence. Yeah, so I have this, and it, this thing, the feedback in this thing is crazy. Um, I agree. It's really, really nice. I agree. And I mean, it's like when you go around, you're going around a corner and you can, you can literally feel the give of the tires in the wheel. Oh, I'm jealous. Because I know what that feels like in real life. I feel it in the wheel on the game. Mm. And I know exactly what the truck is doing. That's cool. So a, lot, a lot of people are like, how do you drive so smooth? And I'm like, because I know the, I know the feeling, the feedback from the truck, mm. you know? <laughs> That's really cool, so actually. Because, because th really yeah, awesome it's, it's, it's very real. And then the whole suspension stuff, you know, when you're going over like railroad tracks or whatever, and how the how the truck kind of softly kind of bounces a little bit, you know, mm. and dips. And the tr real trucks do that. I mean, it feels exactly like that. So it's it's really really close, really close. That's awesome. That's that's so cool to hear. And uh, I hope as well that you know. Even though we have got a you know a scaled down map, I hope that in some way we're able to replicate you know what we have right now in the map of you know the west coast and a little bit more uh, towards the mid as well uh, in terms of states that it's uh, pretty realistic as well. Because one of my favorite things is actually kind of learning the U.S. highways here and seeing the landmarks and kind of getting used to the mm -hmm. feel of, of every state. Um, you know, I can imagine you've been to a few, if not all of the states that we have currently in American Truck Simulator, would you say, you, have you visited every state while trucking or um, is that something you achieved? Yeah, I believe I have, um, at least at least wow. through it once. Um, but I normally did not do the West Coast. Um, so hmm. all the DLCs okay. you currently have, I pretty much didn't do those states other than maybe hmm. New Mexico. Um, I used to go Until to Hobbs, we New get Mexico to Texas, all is. the time. <laughs> Yeah, so I used to I used to take loads from Texas to Hobbs, New Mexico, all the time. So, mm -hmm. uh, New Mexico. Yeah, that was one well, of the, the earliest days. Are you gonna are you gonna change yeah. the time? Oh, oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, got you. Keeping it daytime. Keeping it daytime. Blinding. Got you. Got you. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Uh, I saw a, a message here in chat real quick from Dwarfy. How are we doing, Dwarfy? Uh, saying. So one way to think of three million miles is 120 and a half circumnavigations of the Earth, according to Google. Oh jeez. I don't think that was actually 120 and a half. Just to not miscredit anyone, I don't think it was Dwarfy's post. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I think somebody <laughs> to else the posted truth, it. Think about it. Oh really? I see I see Dwarfy's post right now, and it says Dwarfy next to his name, so I'm just reading that off. Yeah, so, it was, I think it was somebody Maybe else. someone else pasted it as well. Maybe somebody else pasted it. Sorry if it was Sorry, person. Well. <laughs> you, can, you can file <laughs> a, a, yeah, file oh, a copyright. Firefox, yeah. Oh, there Firefox we go. Firefox 0027 was first. There you go. Firefox, thank you as well. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But yeah, uh, I imagine you're, you're definitely looking forward to the Texas DLC then, which is 
up and coming for uh, American Truck Simulator. Uh, do you have any kind of expectations set for Texas, or are you just gonna explore it once it comes out and just um, take it all in from there? Well, I'm gonna take it all in. I mean, it's like you guys have already said, you know, cotton, and and I'm, I'm definitely assuming you guys are gonna have oil and gas kind of thing going on because Texas mm -hmm. is big on that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's just gonna be awesome. Uh, <laughs> and I want a garage near it'll my be... house if possible. <laughs> I, I was going to say that. I was going to say it'll probably be uh, <laughs> quite weird for you to kind of be on the roads that are very near, if not very close to you, um, around mm. the area and kind of seeing how they compare to, to the real life thing. Uh, maybe even at one point, if you're ever out on the road, you can take some pictures to compare once the Texas DLC uh, does release. But uh, that'd be that'd yeah. be awesome. But. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what quite to expect of Texas because, you know, I've never visited in real life. Um, and I know a lot of our guys are busy working on the map and I'm very excited to see how it is. But, you know, when you first think of Texas, unfortunately, most people do go for the stereotype of, you know, it's just kind of like desert and cowboys and barbecues. But there is actually a lot more out in Texas that people I don't think no, realize. No, there's a lot of different territories. You know, you got prairie. Right, exactly. You got, exactly. I mean, yeah. you just... I mean, you can go down south where it's still you know, warm, or you can go up north. I mean, where it's just snow, it'll snow up like in Amarillo and in those areas and stuff like that. So, I mean, hmm. it's different, different areas, different stuff. Right. And uh, I, I always forget as well that it's on the coast. You have like a, you know, almost like a. a did I have beaches down in the south of Texas or not really? Is yeah. that a thing? Kid? Yeah. I mean, you go down towards Houston and Galveston and. Corpus okay. Christi and there's you know beaches all the way to, all the way down through can I just and then, and then on into Mexico so can I just quickly say that like the reason why I just got fined was because I had to stop on a wait station that was like way too far off and I didn't want to ruin the viewing experience okay oh. so I took the one for the <laughs> team this time all right so that's why <laughs> you didn't stop at the wait station no I didn't because oh, it was like way no. too far off so Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not. I'm not paying attention to the wasting. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's the spirit. Uh, I imagine I've you've done enough of them in your time. Of those in real life <laughs> yeah. things. I mean, I yeah. honestly. I mean, I don't mind filing uh, traffic stuff, but you know, the waste station side. You know, I've seen way too many of those. <laughs> can I just? Can yeah, I? Can I? Can I use the, the excuse as well? Like. I'm just gonna get fined for something, and I'm just gonna say, "Oh, I've seen too many in my life." <laughs> can I, I'm gonna use that from now on. Why not? Yeah. Uh, I don't think DOT has a sense of humor, to tell you the truth. Oh, true. Yeah, I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Dang. Okay. Well, we're not too far away from our from our destination. Are we actually yeah. almost there? We're not too far. We're about forty really? eight miles out. Oh. Whoop. My brakes were, were not happy with that stop there. I did avoid the crash though. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Just getting a good side look of your, your trailer here, uh, Darius. Just making sure that yeah, I can confirm there's no dent there. It's absolutely fine. So uh, mm -hmm. just, yeah, it looks. Look I'll at pull looking back in there. slowly. <laughs> yep. And I was just just getting a good close up look at that trailer. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it was. So <laughs> good stuff. Well. We gotta ask then, you know, with all of your experience with trucking and everything like that, how did you first come across American Truck Simulator or your Truck Simulator 2 if it was that one you discovered first? Was it through a friend or how did you um, discover it? Well, it was it was suggested to me mm. um, back when I was first when I was still driving, and they're like, "Why don't you play American Truck Simulator?" And my first answer to that would be, it <laughs> would be, "Why would I want to drive?" in a video game when I'm driving 14 hours a day right? driving a truck <laughs> was my first answer to that. Now, Completely after I got the game, it, it was totally different. Totally different. Mm. I felt totally different about it. But, yeah, first impression was not... <laughs> yeah, I can understand that, you know. You, you're coming home from your job to then play your job virtually. But you're not getting paid for it, so <laughs> it's kind of it always feels like you're being you're being scammed there a little bit when Te it happens. But technically, the well. I didn't even want to drive anywhere in my personal car, let alone another truck. So right, because you know, I was just like tired of the road. I didn't want to see another car, truck, or anything. Mm -hmm. 
that's understandable. I don't think I would want to get behind the wheel either, but uh, I'm glad that you, you, you do enjoy it and that you've able to kind of start a, a little community from it. And uh, I imagine you have some uh, goals in mind as well. You were saying a little bit earlier to us before the stream that you, you're having a bit of a, a partner push uh, on Twitch as well. So uh, Yeah, any definitely, definitely going for partner push, yeah. Yeah, so any support here from our chat, if you haven't already, go give uh, Chuck and Cowboy a follow on the Twitch. The links are being posted uh, by our favorite friend Nightbot. Nobody really likes Nightbot, but yeah, make sure to go give him a, a follow. And uh, also on socials as well, you have you have Twitter um, as well. Do you have any other social uh, pages as well, Chuck and Cowboy? Or is it just um, Twitter that you have? Twitter, Instagram. Instagram is the same thing, Chuck and Cowboy TV. Mm. So make sure to go give him a, a follow there uh, um, as well. I also have the uh, brand new website within the last month that we've put together. Oh. It's still a work in progress, so oh, right. bear okay. with us. But it's uh, www.teamconvoy.com. Team Convoy. Tell us more about that. What, what, what is that, the website? Um. Well, we're going to feature uh, other streamers and stuff on there and um just give support to the community basically through that website nice. so is it um, almost like a stream team would you say or something similar to that kind of yeah like, kind of group, like that a group of people that so kind we, of we have the front support. page we feed you know feature certain um streamers and and then we have another tab where we we're gonna put all the um convoy streamers from the um from the discord and all that stuff too and um, if, if anybody wants to join the Discord, by the way, you can go to the website and hit the Discord tab, and it'll take you right to the Discord. That's awesome. So teamconvoy.com, is that correct? Correct. All right. Yeah, make sure to go check out that website as well. I'm sure you'll find uh, all of the links there as well. Let's go give a Trucking Cowboy some uh, support there as well, because, you know, the community here is kind. We love to support each other, and, you know, each uh, each time that we do, we're always uh, helping each other out. Oh, so. I'm sorry. I almost. Oh, ah. Darius. No. <laughs> yeah, this is totally my fault. Totally my fault. Right at the end of the journey, as yeah. well. We're so close. It's, we're so it's, close. It's not like somebody forgot to turn or anything, you know. No, no it's Darius, that's completely your fault. Yeah, totally, yeah. It's always uh, the person from behind. Just a little behind, glove you know? tap. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> just just a little like, like that. Ninety percent damage. It's fine. Like oh, I gotta say, you chose a, a perfect uh, job location. Drop off here. You got the the Devil's Tower over there on the left. You oh, can see I out see the window, it. Uh, yeah, oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful that landmark. That's really cool. It is a beautiful cool. landmark. So good job on choosing that. That is very nice. I'm always tempted to go visit the viewpoint down the road because it's a nice little spot down there as well. Oh no! Did you did Check you select like, easy parking? <laughs> I got doubles. It's oh, always easy parking. Uh, yeah, so, oh, that's an automatic man. option. Should have ran yeah, doubles. Darius. Yeah, yeah Darius. That's true. That's true. Me and Darius have got to got to do some parking here. So uh, I don't know I if, 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 we, if we should allow the you know the experienced driver in the room to kind of judge our parking here, our maneuvers. I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> the judge, pressure is on. Judge my professional. The pressure is on. Keyboard parking, please. Keyboard? Oh, you're gonna go back over there? Okay, I'll wait for you here then. I'm gonna wait for you here. I've got a, I've got a, a, a different spot to back into here next to those two little white what look like hoppers or, or containers or whatever they are. Silos. Mini silos. Tiny, tiny silos. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. yeah. I'm not much of a, a farm boy, so I always forget, forget the lingo <laughs> of the country. Right. Yeah. All right. Not too bad, Harry. You're looking pretty good. You got to keep it straight there. Yeah, it should be okay. Hey, like not too way, bad. Either way, this should be. Okay. I think yeah, there we go. Easy. I think that's respectable. I think that is respectable. Click with it. I'm gonna pull around <laughs> here. Here we go. But what do you mean late? Oh. It's because it's because you changed the time. That's why oh. you flash banged us and, and made oh, us late. No. <laughs> That's the penalty that we get okay, for driving with Davius. Oh, wait. It is. Here we go. Wait, do you have the, the pressure is on? Do you have the same parking spot? No, I don't. I've got a different one, and uh, this truck is heavy. You can feel it. It takes a minute to turn as well. Oh, I don't really want to clip the curb here. 
Oh, I see it, I see it. Wait for it. There we go. Ooh, oh, did you get it? Be careful. No, not yet. Just want to be careful of these, these silos here. Wow, that's like <laughs> really close. Did I? Is this? Uh, is not straight. I'm very bent. I. <laughs> okay, let me straighten up here. Let me straighten up here. Let me straighten up. I'm gonna pull for. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Come on now. I, okay. I think so... the hit. I think the hitbox on that is a little so, bit. So uh, let's little just bit. focus on the fact no. that we have the mirror here. Right? <laughs> uh, is he? Uh, there no, no, this is not the mirror. <laughs> Never mind. Oh well. Can I? Can I not? Can I not actually pull out now because of that little? There we go. All right, let's try again. Let's try again, chat. Hashtag. We're going for it. Hashtag pray for pray for Alex. It's fine. I got it on this one. It was just a little bit tricky on the first one. I just need to straighten up. Here we go. I think if I take a, a little bit more of a wider turn, then I would have been okay. There we go. Happy days. We're in. Easy. First try. Good job. First, it was not the first try, right, but totally was. We'll go um, with it. All right. So, uh, how would you how would you rate our parking <laughs> <laughs> tracking cowboy? Uh, oh. <laughs> you, guys did, you, you guys did well. You guys we did well. Did okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. I'll take that as a big compliment. Nice. We did. We did okay. We did okay. It wasn't amazing. I'm not saying by any means it was amazing, but uh, it was all right. It it did the job. It did the okay, job. we can take one more job. And to... to be honest, I mean, even even after 30 years of driving, you know, some days I couldn't probably hit the backside of a barn. I mean, but and then some days, right in, no problem. So listen, everybody has their bad days. Listen, mm -hmm. like what you are saying is completely true. But it sounds like I, a, a lot of, um, I can use a lot of it as excuses for my um, crashes and uh, and faults or in the game. So uh, thank you. <laughs> sure, Darius, yeah. you can use whatever excuse you want to use. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Don't tell him that, because then he just won't be driving at all. He'd be like, guys, I'm not driving today because you know. Oh, look, uh, you know. I'm, not, I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling. You pick a load, uh, you know. <laughs> Perfect. All oh, right. Well, the trailer I just parked, I've now had to pick up again. So, I mean, obviously they're very quick to unload here, which I think is a dream for any trucker. I heard, you know, loading and unloading can be the longest process sometimes, <laughs> not the driving part. Uh, is waiting around for them to actually unload, unload your gear or load it. Uh, I think sometimes I tune into Trucker Dylan streams, you know, the one that has the cameras inside of his truck in, in the Netherlands. And sometimes he's just sitting in the, uh, in the industry where he's picking up for about two two hours three hours sometimes just waiting waiting for his cargo to to, to be all loaded up or unloaded especially during covid right yeah so but we're quite lucky here that we can just yeah that's quickly that's, move on. that's probably the downside to trucking is sometimes you get into a customer and you'll sit there for hours mm. getting loaded or unloaded and you're just burning your time and time is money you know, yep. and it that stinks. I was gonna say, does that count as driving time, like on your on your tachograph sort of thing? Um, it just... counts as um on duty time. It does. Okay. Um, it actually it it it, it depends because if your company releases you during while you're sitting there, sometimes you can do that as an off duty, mm -hmm. but you're still within um you're so many hours in a day before you have to take a sleep break you're still within that so like in the united states it's um if you do interstate it's 14 uh you can drive 11 hours in a 14 hour period wow okay oh, wait did we just um it, yeah come on and like some states have uh interstate laws which are like agricultural which you can do 12 hours in a 15 hour period oh okay so it's different depending on on, on what kind of jobs you're doing or a few states do now te texas has the agricultural law um mm. i know florida does because i used to live in florida also okay um so 
yeah they have those laws but as soon as you cross over the border you have to use the federal law which is oh, 11 hours driving right. in a 14 hour period so you can't say i'm from this state is this law here you have to nope, adhere to every state way. and with an electronic logging it just does it for you anyways i mean you, there's no there's no messing with it anymore i mean those days are long gone <laughs> i can imagine they have everything on tap and like yeah when you say it's electronic yeah they know all your data they know where you are how it's long the engine is running and everything box. yeah it's a basic black box that's hooked into your truck it knows when your truck is on when it's idling when it's driving down the road mm -hmm. it knows everything that's kind of scary, isn't it? It's a little bit scary. <laughs> they, get, they have an eye yeah, on you. It gets for a sure. little you getting used to. I can imagine. Uh, All right. Well, yeah, let's get his good points and his bad points. <laughs> let's let's head out on our next journey. Then that's really insightful. That's it's interesting to know. I, I did not know that. That is that is news to me. And I think Darius, what you're going to say is that somehow we spoke about Trucker Dylan, and then he's just appeared in the yeah, chat. Yeah, I actually right? wanted to say that. Yeah. <laughs> like we summoned we summoned tracker dealer he's, he's, like, he's just like you called yeah. i thought maybe he'd still be out on the road Amazing. i was tuned into stream a, a little bit earlier but um yeah, good to see you dylan thank you for stopping by we appreciate you hope you're doing well yeah actually i wanted to ask one question um which is kind of well it's kind of generic now but trucking mm -hmm. cowboy have you ever been driving in wyoming since we are you know. Wyoming? Um, Wyoming? I've been there once. Oh, have you seen the Devil's Tower in real life? No. Oh, that's a shame. No, I, I drove through there on, I was, I believe we were on, it was back when I first started driving. I was actually with a trainer at the time. Oh, right, okay. And uh, we drove through Wyoming on our way to Seattle, I believe is where we were going. Oh, wow, that's so, a journey. <laughs> Wow, I've been to Seattle. I'm quite lucky to have visited Seattle. Um, so that's one of the I very have a few places. Who lives in Seattle, also. So yeah. Yeah, one of the very few places I've actually visited that's in game as well, and it is a little bit scary to see how realistic it is. You know, I I, I knew, kind of knew the roads before I got there, which is kind right. of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah, the details of the official DLCs are just spot on. Fantastic, yeah, but that doesn't say as well, you know, there are a lot of fantastic mod creators uh, out there as well, you know, for, for different trucks and other modifications and map mods as well, such as Pro Mods that also do an excellent job of, of bringing in additional content, you know, just out of kind of their own love for the game as well. Yeah, that's um, quite which is, awesome to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, for example, Can I mean, Canada is awesome. Um, for I want to give credits that. to Reforma because they, I think they, they're definitely very detailed. In Mexico um, mm. for Reforma is spot on. I mean, they're unbelievable detail. Mm. So, I think I remember actually trying that one. It has like the actual border control and everything down there. It's really, really mm -hmm. awesome to see. It's really, really cool. <laughs> Somebody is saying that we should, we should use tracking cowboys as someone to to help us make the game even more realistic well i mean when uh, northern alex was here we were we were talking about like hi hey, you know one day you know we're, we're gonna ask for for uh, research or something maybe and yeah i mean who knows maybe maybe we can talk about like texas with trucking cowboy at some point we'll see yeah, absolutely. I think uh, obviously we, in the past we've always, you know, relied on many people from our community who have so willingly helped out on the forums to submit uh, research details for different states that uh, we may or may right. not be working on. We kind of we make like quite a few different threads with lots of different states, so nobody really knows what's coming next, and some of them might be a bit of a you know one to throw you off sort of thing, but. Um, but lots of people would, you know, help out there and put research in, which is really awesome to see. And lots of people also get in contact with us and give us feedback. And, uh, you know, we're always open to that. We're always happy to hear when someone has to say something. You know, we, we love to listen and see if we can't uh, do something about that in the future. Of course, we always yeah, have... Yeah, I wouldn't have any problems. Well, so. um, the roads that I've traveled in Texas and stuff for the truck, mm. I mean, I, I would... It's when, when Texas comes out, I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on everything. <laughs> He's going to so, be judging, like, making I'll a probably, list. <laughs> I'll probably let you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
for sure. We look forward to, to hearing from you. Hopefully, uh, it's majority uh, good and positive stuff than uh, anything negative. But uh, we'll we'll see when it when it comes to it for sure. Uh, but keeping on the subject of you know American truck simulator and everything, um, I gotta ask: Do you have a favorite state to drive in uh, in American Truck Simulator? Um, that is a very good question. Um, I mean, I like all the all the Western states and stuff because, like I said, I never really drove in the Western states. Right. Um, and I like all the scenery. Um, Oregon and Washington are very scenic mm -hmm. true. Um, states, so they're fun to drive in. Very true. Um, I like New Mexico just because I've been, I, you know, I've driven in New Mexico, so um, I do enjoy that state. That's awesome. That's, uh, that's really cool to hear. New Mexico, I think it's solid and, uh, you know, it's different as well. I think when we first bought out New Mexico, it was like one that we kind of, you know, had a little bit of fun with as well. Because I believe like a lot of our promotional content then around it was kind of like the mysterious kind of like alien stuff that surrounds uh, it as well. You know, with yeah, the UFOs yeah, yeah. and everything yeah. like that as well. So as well. Uh, but then that, you have like yeah. the stone art as well, and there's, there's quite a few, a few cool little things in New Mexico. Um, definitely worth a revisit every now and again for sure uh, in the game. And uh, but also when it comes to trucking as well, like you know, cargo wise, do you prefer to have kind of like your standard box trailers, or do you like to have unique cargo when you're trucking on the road? Um, well, I I enjoy hauling some of the heavy stuff, mm -hmm. you know, the the nine, nine axle low boys. Right. Um, and then if I'm gonna do box stuff, I usually do a reefer trailer. Gotcha. Um, okay. Refrigerated because you can haul. You can haul anything in a refrigerated trailer from dry goods to refrigerated goods. True. So it's basically like an insulated and re refrigerated trailer in one mm. if you run a refrigerated trailer. So, you know, and usually, uh, I usually haul dynamite. Dynamite, you, you guys <laughs> have it, so it's a pretty good price for dynamite. So if I haul stuff on in the box trail is usually dynamite we do pay pretty well for dynamite i heard <laughs> it's a good job mm. you find dynamite on the job list chat take it it's usually a pretty good deal but uh of course it's always good to search around and to sort it by price pipe per distance and check out your best routes as well i know a lot of people uh do a lot of planning when it comes to these sort of jobs to kind of get the best in the right pipeline. lane yeah, yeah. I would just like and to very slowing down here. Uh, I would just oh. like to say that once again, I'm gonna get fined. So <laughs> you are. Oh, yeah. come I mean, on, I mean, look, look where the wait, wait station is. Okay, and like, <laughs> if, if I, you can see it now, you can see it now on the map, and like, if I, if I were to go there, it I would the completely, light, so I... it would completely ruin the the streaming viewing experience. So uh, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, you know, okay, um, okay. Just, uh, I, I'm, I'm you, sure. Guys. I'm sure. Tracking Cowboy as a streamer can totally relate to this issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very slow up here, isn't it? Wow. Not sure what all this traffic is about, but a little bit of traffic here as we as we move along here. All right, so it's, I'm coming up to uh, AI. AI, uh, AI can be stupid at times. I've it probably can, heard yeah. that from. I mean, every, everybody always says the AI is pretty stupid. I mean, yeah, it's not the greatest, but like, as in terms of realism, I mean, you do get good and bad drivers. So exactly, like, uh, well, yeah, yeah. You know, the way I, t the way I tell people, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm like, well, yeah, they act like real yeah, people. I mean, yeah, that's that's what we usually hear from, uh, you know, like from real trackers. That's that's what we usually mm. hear that argument. So, I guess it's true. Yeah, because. Trust me, I mean, you have to keep your, when you're in a real truck, you have to keep your eyes open all the time hmm. because it could be somebody coming right into the side of your truck or trailer. And if you see them in your eye, corner of your eye, you can avoid them, you know? So there are very stupid people out there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is too true. That is too true. I, I, I had an experience on the other stream. Who was it with? Uh, Bot Mass World? Um, yeah, I know Matt. Yeah, cool. and um, that was this red car that was bullying me on the highway when we were driving on the motorway. I it was mean, merging into was... me and it made me flip over. Yeah, I, that 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 car just did not like me. It was out to get me, unfortunately. 
That was so, uh, very weird times with the AI on that stream, actually. It was. Though. It was. It was a very weird time. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, let's get let's get into another question here. This is probably one of my favorite part of the streams, where we ask anybody that comes onto our stream uh, the question of if you could bring any one thing into American Truck Simulator or your Truck Simulator Two. Oh, maybe you have a list of things, that's fine as well. Some features, what would you like to see and why? Um, well, it's kind of hard to remember some things, but um, I know I had a suggestion a while back from some people that the, uh, the viewpoints mm -hmm. that you can go and see and stuff like that, they were like, you know, they would be awesome would be if there was like a commentary with it. You know, like some like a voiceover commentary about what you're looking at, or you know, something about the area. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Well, how about how about music? Because the other day there was a feedback that there should be music during the viewpoints. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, during the oh, viewpoints. I don't know. I I I thought that was a pretty decent idea. Music during the yeah. viewpoints. That'd be cool. Maybe. Actually, think about it. it's like a cinematic movie, a short movie with like a nice orchestral music, you know, with birds chirping yeah, and stuff like that. Do that. <laughs> yeah, I honestly turn the music all the way off mm -hmm. on the game, and because I play from a different source, uh, DMCA free, music, of course, so yeah. I don't get in trouble with it on stream. So, um, so I can't really speak to the music part. <laughs> That's understandable. I mean, you guys I mean, you guys have awesome radio and stuff in game and stuff, but it just, I can't use Main Street music. Yeah, you know, because of licensing so. in the MCA. Yeah, licensing and stuff, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to get caught out. It's the same reason why we don't listen to anything on our streams as well, you know. Music-wise, uh, it's for that same reason as well. So, right. uh, but that's a cool suggestion. I like that. I do, I do like that suggestion. Is there anything else that you would love to see in the game as well? Or I know a lot of people talk about getting out of your truck or more little intricate details like that or are you are you pretty happy of of how the state of the uh, simulator is oh, right getting now? out of the truck yeah that's 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 i've had people ask about that mm -hmm. um that's definitely a good idea um i mean i've had people say stuff like uh for for like the cop cars and stuff that actually pull you over instead of just flashing a fine true thing true um imagine there would be quite a bit to coding that but <laughs> we're gonna have to code in a, a cop chase you know if you don't stop then more of them turn up and try blockade the road and then and then at that point exactly. it just becomes a bit of a i don't know <laughs> what kind of simulator you know smoky in the bandit style like just just keep it running you know i, I love the fact that <laughs> there's somebody in the chat who's always like so shocked that when i get fined in the game <laughs> it's always <laughs> always one person <laughs> Uh, it's so funny. <laughs> Give oh, away if we see one more fight. That's, oh, David, that's, <laughs> I think that is fair, but it's, com it's coming out of uh, Darius's paycheck. That one. Uh, <laughs> the prize provided by his paycheck. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so can we can we have some sort of a charity as well before the QB or take up a fund for you? Yeah, are you doing? That's a good question, actually. Uh, since. So have you ever done any charity stream, Trucking Cowboy? Uh no, I haven't. I haven't done any yet. And and would you, would I've you been like looking to do it, oh. do that kind of thing? Hmm. Yeah, there's some really cool ones that I've seen out there. You know, and they take a lot of organizing. Though I know that there's a lot of work to organize, especially they do. when you have quite a large attendance. It can be a bit messy, but uh, it's now I I promoted, um, you know, kind of like streamers that are in my community i've promoted them on in my discord on my mm -hmm. stream mm -hmm. on social media i've you know for charity so i've kind of helped out in that kind of thing just not personally done it on my stream understandable yeah 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 i mean it's good again it's nice it's great to see you kind of like promoting uh, other people's things and kind of helping each other right. out as well because it does make a difference you know whether you're just sharing or actually, you know, getting involved, it all just kind of goes to the, you know, bringing the same awareness for whatever it might be that you're, you're raising money for, for example, you know, like for us with our, um, when we're raising money for, you know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, we told people, you know, even if you're not able to donate anything, just spreading awareness, 
uh, of the cause, you know, could lead to other people, you know, getting involved and making a change and doing things that they yeah, normally wouldn't as well. Yeah, that's definitely a big so. charity I could definitely get behind because, yeah, that's... I have family that that's hit, so... Mm -hmm. um, I think most families have had somebody who's been affected by that, but... Yeah. It is it's pretty, unfortunately, widespread, so you know, it's, it's great that we're able to support it in some some degree every year. And uh, we even did, obviously, the uh, the big World of Trucks event a, a couple of years back now, I think it was, right. where we uh, donated quite a bit of money and had a World of Trucks jobs in, in, in support of it as well. So that was, that was a lot well, of fun. Well, I bought the DLC yeah. just to support the charity. I mean, it's yep. like I don't normally run the skin, but I just bought the DLC because I'm like, I support that charity, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool, and that and that pack is still up to this day, and that still will get donated, one hundred percent of the, the proceeds yes. do go to the charity, which is, which is awesome. So uh, no, it's great to see. Well, no, thank you, Sean, for your suggestions. Either way, uh, you know we'd love to hear them, and I know in chat as well, a lot of you are throwing out your suggestions as well. The best place for you to place those is on our forums, because uh, as much as I love reading them in chat, and you've got some great ideas, unfortunately, chat is temporary. It does disappear after a while. So make sure you get them posted on the forums in the feature and wish list uh, area because then you know it's a bit more permanent and for us to go check out and read and, so, and don't worry we are reading the forums don't worry we are reading the forums yes. yeah we are we are there um people do exist on those forums indeed <laughs> it's all i can say <laughs> yeah it's all i can say for that one so all right well speaking of community and such like that is there anybody that you would love to, to kind of uh, give a shout out to uh trucking cowboy you know a little bit of time maybe to, to shout out a bit about your community and maybe some people that have kind of helped you along the way oh okay um awesome to answer that question <laughs> um, <laughs> that's right that's okay got me on the spot um i had there's just so many people in the community mm. that um i support and love to support um from you know small streamers to big streamers you know mm. um i like to support other um brother truckers i call them from another mother mm -hmm. <laughs> um so um a friend of mine spider gray he's uh he's a retired truck driver also kind of in the same situation that i'm in okay and i like to support him um i got another uh guy that um i like to support and he actually is a uh uh he, he wraps um vehicles for um uh joe gibbs racing and oh wow okay so like and, actually uh, um this kind of like the livery on, on the cars right he, yeah, he does the wrapping, you know, the, the paint wrapping. Oh, awesome. Uh, of the vehicles and the haulers and all that stuff, so, which is really interesting to me. So, um, I try to support him, and there's plenty of, bunch of others that I support. It's too many to name. Mm -hmm. Like I said, with my website, I, I always am putting different um, streamers on the front page of my website. To feature, to feature different people so different people get exposure so awesome yeah, well, it sounds like you already do a lot of supporting but it's great to hear you shouting out just a few of the people there of the many yeah, like you my, said and my good you know. friend Sean Carson TV which he helps me out with my discord mm. and he's just I've known him for quite some time and he's a really good guy and uh, a mod and uh yeah, he, oh, awesome. he helps me out with my website too, so I got to got to give him a shout out. Shout out, definitely got to give him a shout. Out. <laughs> That's really nice. It honestly does sound like you have a great community over there, and uh, I really hope that it can, continues to grow. Uh, you know, with more many more members, and that you have, you know, lots of great trucking adventures ahead as well. Many miles of of good time Absolutely. together. I imagine you have uh, quite a bit of fun on your convoys as well. And you know, is anybody you know welcome to to join your convoys, or do you have like? private and public ones if someone wants to go to your channel and and see that you're trucking together yeah i i uh do public um convoys the only thing is um obviously you gonna have some rules um i have eight to 18 plus mm -hmm. um because sometimes we talk mature on the stream and we talk mature in the discord and stuff so i have to put it 18 plus um 
and also I ha I want them to be hardwired because convoy can be a little iffy if people are on Wi-Fi. So right. um, if they're hardwired in 18 over and they can be in Discord with me, so I can you know com communicate with them, then yeah, anybody can up to eight, uh, obviously up to eight players. Mm -hmm. So um, and of course they have to. Everybody has to have the same mods for running mods. Of so. course, of course, yeah. Which is uh, something you have to works. do anyway. So whether that be through oh, that was a the Steam Workshop or the you got me, I want to ask you guys a question. Oh, dedicated you're gonna reverse servers. the roles. Okay. Dedicated servers. When is right. it, any timeline on that? Ooh, dedicated servers. Uh... Uh, <laughs> I don't think I have any information about it. I think. You know, the first thing that a lot of people have been asking about is upping the player limit first off, you know, because it's still right. quite small. Um, though I don't really know when that is next going to happen. Unfortunately, I wish I had some information ready for you if I, if I knew yeah, that. Right. Yeah, I, I want to but, say, like, we, we genuinely, like, me and Alex, <laughs> we, we don't really know. Like, so. Yeah, too much it's work about it, it. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was definitely mentioned in the past. It might have even been mentioned in one of our blogs, actually, um, about yeah, the possibility of dedicated. You guys were working on it, so yeah. So I, I know I mean, it's I know something on it. that has been, you know, thrown up, and like we recognise that, you know, people do want it. Um, but hopefully, we can bring out an update. Maybe I might uh, bother some people and see if we can't get an update on that. Maybe put a blog out if people are, are interested about hearing more and about how, how Conway's uh, going. Engine. On what side? Do you know any, do you know anything more on the video engine? Because I know you guys are working on the next update for that. Uh, I don't know anything on that again, personally, sorry, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> but again, yeah, I know that our team is always looking at, you know, improving. Right. I mean, more recently we, we changed, you know, to a different DirectX version and hopefully we'll continue uh, forwards here. And of course, as technology and time moves forwards, you know, we've always got to do our best to keep you know, our engine up to date, you know, for the technology, right. you know, it's upgrading all of yeah, the time. Yeah, because you guys make so, the, uh, you, 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 it's an in-house engine, right? It is, yeah, so. it's Prism, yeah, Prism. Yeah. But, um, so, but, you know, a lot of that, you know, has started off as a... Uh, <laughs> did, did it just crash into it? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was yeah. reading the chat and I was like... <laughs> Some of it is, you know, you know, older because of, you know, how old our game is. I think a lot of people forget right. that, you know... 2012 is when Euro Truck Simulator 2 started, and I believe it was was it 2015 for ATS, if I'm correct. But um, 2016. Oh, 2016. You guys, yeah. You just had the six-year anniversary. What, I know. That already. I know. I, do you know what? There's so now. much going on. There's so much going on <laughs> every day. You know, it's quite an exciting year this year, uh, especially with uh, exactly. another big anniversary coming up. So there's a lot happening every time. But uh, but yeah, I know we got to try keep up. So definitely, do you know? I'll I'll, I'll, I'll definitely have an ask around. And uh, right. see if we can't provide any updates in the future. See if we can't get a blog out about maybe some of those frequently asked questions about convoy and what progress is being made and stuff like that as well. I will have to maybe bug the, the programmers a little bit and see if they can't give us anything. But uh, I'll definitely note that down for you because I don't have the answers right now, unfortunately. <laughs> but I will definitely That's cool. note that down. All right. Well, looks like we're arriving at our delivery destination and time has absolutely flown. Unfortunately, I wish we could have more time to truck, but uh, it looks like things we're gonna have to wrap up here pretty pretty soon, as we've already been trucking on the road for a little while here. So let's right. get ourselves uh, parked up. Trucking has already beat us to it, the cowboy. Oh, did you did you choose yeah. hard parking? I'm working on it. I had to turn around to get into this spot. Oh. So oh, is it is it quite tight up here? Is it? Well, I was coming coming around the wrong side. So ah, gotcha, gotcha. Compared to where the dock is. Understandable. Okay, now we, now we will see professional park, uh, I suppose. Okay. And Walbert's got to get their yogurt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's important. That is that is what we need. That it's is very important. Yogurt is very important. Yeah. Yep. How did you how did you turn around? Because I have the same spot. Um, I went down to the next space and I just did a big jackknife U-turn and uh -huh. came back. I don't have that space there. I have the one next to these trailers here for some reason. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull forward here while Darius is just going up ahead and uh, try park up quickly and hopefully not get in the way. I hope not anyway. Ooh. Okay, yeah. I need to maneuver just a little bit more here. 
I could have a tough time here. Yeah. I need to uh... <laughs> up into the bushes. <laughs> not really ideal. It's not really my ideal uh, parking here. Oh, there you go, Darius. You got turned around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. There we go. Oh gosh, this is a uh, interesting one. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely have to straighten up. So I've come in at a, a pretty interesting angle here. No, I'm well outside of it, but we have to straighten up here. Darius ahead of me. But see, this is where I really wish I did have my wheel set up. Because I do have a wheel set up and I have a Fastmaster gear shifter as well. What do you mean wheel? What kind of an excuse is that? I'm, I'm doing it on a keyboard. <laughs> You're doing it on a keyboard? <laughs> Come on! What, what do you mean? You'll be the wheel. What means the wheel? Thrustmaster shifter is so awesome. I, it really is. Mine. It really is great. Do you, do you have the uh, do you have the uh, Infuller mod on it? I don't. No, I don't. Is that something that I should get? Yes, you should. I will have to look into that. Whew. Yeah, so you can do your range and your splitting of your gears right right on the shifter. Oh, you so can. It's like a it's, it's like a real truck. It's, oh. it's a mod that you the mod that you put right on the shifter. That's cool. I did not know yeah. about that. That is something I'm gonna have to look at for sure. A lot, a lot of. A lot of people who drive for, on ATS have those. Oh, and right. Button box. button box is really good, too. Yeah. So you can just set your brakes and push your buttons and everything. And uh, mine even has a, a CB on it. So, so you can awesome. talk in game with, with, the, with the CB mic. Yeah, I know a few of our guys actually at the office have, have a few button boxes. I don't have one myself, right. but... Uh, I know a few guys that do for sure and they, they always recommend one. They always say, Yeah, it's really cool for the simulation, you know, aspect of it, you know, clicking the parking brakes in and the lights and some of them even have a key ignition as well that you can turn the key and actually start your truck up as well from the button box, which is which is quite cool. All right. right. Well looks like unfortunately our time has come to an end here, but before we disappear we are gonna get ourselves a quick photo here that we can, you know, post on social media. Again, folks, if you haven't already Please make sure to give uh, Truckin' Cowboy a follow uh, on his Twitch as well as his Twitter and Instagram and all those social media pages as well. And also head out to the website that he has that supports lots of different streamers uh, as well. Teamconvoy.com is the website to visit. So make sure to go give uh, a lot of love and uh, help uh, Truckin' Cowboy here get to partner as well on Twitch. It'd be really cool if you can achieve that. So, uh, Truck and Cowboy, thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's been an absolute pleasure kind of hearing your stories and, you know, about your community and uh, and everything else. It's really been interesting. We really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. Um, I'm sorry I didn't, uh, wasn't able to join you guys last month like I was supposed to because I was sick. That's but, all right. But I'm um, definitely glad that we made it work. Absolutely. No, it's, uh, it's really been fun on the road and very insightful as well. And, of course... In the future with Texas and everything, maybe it would be good to have you back on the road with us again to kind of show us around your home state, you know, a, a little bit of a tour. Maybe we can organize that in the Anytime future. Anytime you want me, I'm here. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Sounds good. And yeah, uh, I, I just want to add that um, the mentality of, you know, helping other content creators and just being involved in the community is definitely very, very nice and you should keep it up because... All right, I appreciate that. It, it it means a lot. It means a lot when people say that, and because that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So, I definitely appreciate that. All right. Yeah. No. It's it's really great to see everyone kind of spreading the love and and sharing uh, everything together as well within our community. We we love to see it. We really do. So, thank you, everybody. For being our best community ever that's all i've got to say to everybody uh, in our twitch chat that's been tuned in uh, this evening thank you everybody it's been great to see so many of your familiar names uh, with us this evening uh, as well and of course we'll be back for more uh, trucking streams in the future with lots of different content creators and more um, if you have any suggestions for anyone that maybe you'd love to see on the stream at some point then do let us know um for sure uh all right well before we disappear though we are gonna uh, do as we say here and we're gonna share some uh, love 
uh, to another one of our streamers as we're going to go raid somebody. So please do stick around for a raid. Uh, maybe we can have just a quick look. Yeah, any suggestions online from, from to see if Cowboy? who's online? Do you have any suggestions yeah, maybe. for a raid? Yeah, do you know if anyone's uh, streaming right now that we could raid? I'm going to have a look on the uh, American truck or your truck category just to kind of have a look yeah, around. Yeah, let me, let, me, let me look real quick see if anybody yeah, No is. problem. Any names that you can recognize here? Let's have a look. Yeah, let me quickly check as well. See somebody there called Tab Twice and Boss Mount Wild is streaming. Her rate tracking Iron Man. cowboy. <laughs> Who? Tracking cowboy. Ready you tracking alive? cowboy. Are wow. you streaming? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Offline raid. Um, the person I see doing ATS right now is. Uh, do you guys know Deviant Don's wife? We don't uh what's what's their you username don't. oh wait i see it deviant don's wife no i don't think we do is that somebody you, you think yeah. we should go raid she's she well she's in she's in my discord in my community and that's just somebody i see that's online right now at the moment so yeah. okay well let's do it let's do that we can go we can go raid uh deviant don's wife if you if you're probably that. totally freak out with this yeah <laughs> with the people, but yeah <laughs> All right, well, let's do that then. We'll take we'll take your recommend and go uh, raid somebody from the community. But again, and I just like boys. to say real real quick, go all you it. content creators out there, when you raid, you should. Um, it's always good, like I said, to support in the community. And I always usually try to raid non affiliates first. Mm -hmm. Now, DV Donnie is the affiliate, but uh, I'm just saying that usually I try to raid non affiliates to help them out and give them a push so they can get their affiliate. Absolutely. Yeah, that's really nice to, to kind of think about that as well. So make sure to go give uh, Deviant Don's wife a lot of love. Go support them. Go give them a follow uh, as they're trucking as well from from us here at SES Software and also from the trucking cowboy, the legend himself. Uh, and we'll definitely be back Appreciate for more it. in the future on, on the road. But thank you again. It's been really great. And we hope to have you uh, back again another time uh, for sure. And of course, thank you to Absolutely. Darius. Anytime. Yeah, thank it was you a pleasure. for being our driver for today. It was a, it was a pleasure. pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And also thank to you, uh, Philip behind the scenes as well, who's our production guy. He is a real person. He is there. Uh, a massive thank you to him. Thank you, Philip, well. and thank you for fixing my name. There you go. There we, go. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got that sorted. We got that sorted. All right. Well, until the next time, chat. Let's go. Let's go raid. And we look forward to seeing you uh, for more streams uh, in the future. But until then, take care of yourselves. Uh, keep on trucking and we'll see you for another trucking stream soon. Catch you later, everybody. See ya.